Draymond is big time to me in terms of that he's the glue for that team. He's that valuable. But I do believe they're worried about Kevin Durant leaving. I do believe they don't want Kevin Durant to leave. I do believe they know that if Kevin Durant leaves, it's entirely possible that he may decide to join LeBron in L.A. Okay, I do believe he's got a home in L.A. itself. I do believe that even though the Knicks think they have a shot at him as well, we shall see. The point that I'm trying to make to you is that because of those concerns, along with the fact that I can tell you <laughs> as of 3 o'clock this morning when I was getting calls, Draymond still hadn't apologized. Draymond still was of the mindset he didn't do anything wrong. He did handle the suspension like a professional, but he didn't back up from his position one bit. He believes he's right. He doesn't believe he did anything wrong. And because of that, you never know what kind of fallout this can be. You can use the B word and you can act that way towards an opponent. You could do it against somebody like LeBron who could shrug that off and still be your boy because Draymond is, is real good people. He's as real and authentic as it gets. He doesn't have a phony bone yeah. in his body. But KD is a different animal and how he absorbs that moving forward. I'm not talking about he's going to handle his business on the basketball court always because you could come at KD in any way you want to. He'll still he'll still drop 30. That's not that's fine. But how he communicates with you, how he vibes with you, his willingness and desire and inclination to be around you. All of those things are now up in the air in question. And as of three o'clock East Coast time this morning. To, according to what I was told, Draymond Green still had not apologized. Draymond, Draymond Green still did not believe he was wrong. And, and again, he wouldn't let it go. To a matter of fact, somebody told me, he said, quote, when KD said, let's go win this game, he said, F that. I don't give a damn about that. And kept going at him. He wouldn't. Look. Let it Of course go. the Warriors don't want to lose KD. It is almost impossible to replace him. If you try to get a piece to replace KD's value, you have to get either Anthony Davis or Kawhi Leonard. Who else? Greek Freak's not available. LeBron's not available. The only two others of equal value are AD or Kawhi. Well, if you think you can't get one of those two, Time out. You're not going to replace KD. Time, time you're going to replace not, you're, Draymond. You're, you're not – well, again, you're not – they're hoping they don't have to make a choice, but you also have to remember a couple of things. Number one, if you decide that you want to move Draymond, that doesn't guarantee that you keep KD because KD was contemplating leaving – before this happened. Right. So the point is, it's not all about Draymond as to whether or not he would stay with the Warriors. Then number two, you also have to worry about where KD goes. Hypothetically speaking, as big time as Anthony Davis is, as big time as Kawhi Leonard is, we understand that the Golden State Warriors don't win the championship this year. One could argue they don't win the championship the last two years if it was not for KD's arrival. That as great as Steph Curry is with Clay. Let's say they would have taken one out of the two then, without KD. All right, KD. that's fine. But then without Kevin Durant, you're not winning the championship this year. I can right. tell you that. Right. So they, they recognize that. Now, if you're going to lose KD, here's where it gets interesting. It's not just about losing him. It's about who you lose him to. Mm -hmm. If KD rolls up in L.A. with LeBron James, if you are the Golden State Warriors, you have a problem even if you get Anthony Davis or Kawhi Leonard. Mm -hmm, that's right. You still have a problem but because of the combination why. of KD with LeBron. So, so now it's a really and interesting. And that's, so that's what that's their dilemma. That's the kind of dilemma a KD departure exposes. It's a really interesting question for the Warriors because on the one hand, you can take this tack. Uh, we're going to prove, we're going to demonstrate to KD that we're all in on him and hope that that keeps him here because mm -hmm. that's their best shot to remain this incredible dynasty. Mm -hmm. And so we'll deal Draymond Green. The problem is you're not going to do that now because the more important thing is that you win the championship this year, which they'll do if they stay together and stay healthy. Then at the end of the year, what do you do? When this dude's in free agency, do you then try to deal Draymond to keep KD? And what do you get back from Draymond for Draymond? Because Draymond really helps the Warriors be the Warriors. Dr Draymond is incredibly valuable to the Warriors, to other opponents. You look at his defensive prowess, but the Warriors have already put out there 
He's been breaking down a little bit. I don't know whether been. it's true or you not, see it. but this is what they say. He's Half been breaking down slow, yeah. a little bit. He's not the same player. Uh, Nicks and knacks, injuries, wear and tear, attrition, all of those things have kicked in. So as a result of it, first of all, you're not going to value him over KD because nobody is. You can't find three players or four players in the NBA that you'd value over KD. He's right. that prolific. But it's certainly not going to be Draymond Green. But also, if you move Draymond Green because of the money he's looking to get, you have to take those things into consideration Well, here's as well. the thing about Draymond. When you think about the way teams want to play the game today, yes. you have Anthony Davis as be your number one choice at, at, as your forward or center, you know, a big who can do all those things. Al Horford, who's off to a slow start this season, is another yep. and because they can also rim protect. And then Draymond. Draymond's kind of exactly what every team is looking for. Even a slightly diminished version of himself mm -hmm. should have a lot of trade value. Where does Boogie Cousins fall in all this? Well, Boogie Cousins has to get back healthy. When he's healthy, he's big time. He's 28 and 12 walking. But the reality is, is that the kind of injury that he's had, the Achilles, mm -hmm. combined with the size that he brings it with, he's a big boy. Yeah. And so because he's that big and he has to overcome that injury, this isn't some miniature guard that suffered an Achilles tear. This is a, a 6'11", 280-pound dude, uh, and, and, and that's going to be a lot thing about for him Boogie, to though? overcome. But could he but be he in their long-term plans? Yeah, this is what I think. I think they're looking at Boogie Cousins. I think they're hoping maybe they can get some kind of a discount. Boogie does not rely on athletic ability. He, he has does. very little he of shoot. it for an elite player. He can, his skills, mm -hmm. his moves, his his but, passing ability. But, but he's not. But 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 you see what he's not even in the same stratosphere defensively as Draymond. However, th this is my point. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This yeah. is this is my point. It's not to replace Draymond. The player who actually replaces Draymond in this equation is KD. KD can, in fact, though you think of them different, their body types are different, their attitudes are different. KD can do many of the same things Draymond can do defensively. Some things he can't. Boogie is just an offensive upgrade. I bet if they think they can save some money and go get Boogie and deal Draymond, that's going to be their plan.